So what I got here, guys, is the new Hannah Salinity and Temperature Pen Checker. Um, pretty excited about this. I've been wanting to get another refractometer for a while, just so I have something to compare. Because I got the old trustworthy refractometer pen. You know, the one you got to hold up to the light and all that. So I figured I want something to for a backup, and I wanted something a little easier. What's nice about this is it can t test your temperature and your salinity at the same time. Which is kind of cool if you're making, you know, a new batch of salt for your tank. So, I figured let's give this a try. Hannah's got a good rep. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Nice little case. Pretty nice and light. battery operated you see right over here right there is a temperature probe for you when you dip it into your pail or your tank it tells you the temperature yeah this should be really interesting I hope this works because this is a great idea I've seen a couple other manufacturers out there they give you some calibration solution they give you four packs now, I'm curious how long this stuff lasts. It's something you got to replace all the time. I'm not crazy about that, but we'll see. Well, anyway, we're going to get into this. We're going to show you how you get it started, calibrate it. So here we go. So um, what we're going to do right now is uh, calibrate this meter. Really easy. I'm very impressed how easy they made this. So that's cool. Um, pretty simple. Take this off, turn it on. It's gonna show you it's got 100% battery life. Then you're gonna hit cal. And then you stick it in the little calibration solution they supply. And then you just wait. And it'll come up REC. It's recording it or measuring it, I guess. And the next one you're gonna see is store. couple seconds that's it store and that's it you're done pretty simple I like it so I went to the back because I want to change my um, Celsius reading to Fahrenheit so I'm, I live in the US so just nice to know that you guys can um, do Celsius or Fahrenheit so in order to do that I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little black button right over here. And I need something really tiny, this ain't gonna work. So I had to use the tip of my knife here to um, get in there. And you press it and you can change the Fahrenheit, Celsius was Celsius to Fahrenheit, which I did. And then instead of seeing uh, 35 PPT, I wanted a uh, reading where I can see it at 1.026 so I did that and it seems pretty accurate I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed so far we'll see what happens as I use it over the next couple months yep so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this thing over to the tank and see how it does all right, let's go. All right, so we're over at the tank, and we are going to see how this thing does. So first thing we do is turn it on. Goes through its battery check, it's 100%, and it's ready to go. Just take it off the cover. We're gonna dip it in there. And look at that, one point. 026 at 78.8 degrees. There's a little hourglass. I don't know if you guys can see that that blinks. That's when it tells you it's done. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's just check out the other tank while we have while we're here. So we're over at my other little tank, my little Pico Rocknem tank. Check that out. Let's see. Let's see. 
six. And 79 degrees. And if this thing works as good as it's working, I gotta say, I give it two thumbs up. I give this thing a snowman stand. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So I just made some new salt water for my little Pico rock flower anemone tank. And I'm gonna check out the new salt tester. Let's see what happens. See that? Goes to 100 battery percent. Zero it out. Let's see what we got. Yep. 1.026, 78 degrees. Right where I want it. Sweet. So, my final conclusion on the HANA Salinity Tester. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it makes testing salinity a lot easier. It seems very accurate. I tested against my uh, trusty refractometer and it's right on par. Um, I don't know, they give you these uh, calibration solution envelopes, which is pretty cool, 20 mils. Um, so what I did, instead of buying these things all the time to check, which I'm not gonna do if I don't have to, I took it and I poured it in a little sample container, marked it, and as I open another one or two of these things, I'm gonna pour them in here. I don't know if this solution goes bad or not, or I'm sure it does over time maybe, but I guess once a year or every so often would be a bad idea to replace. But to keep buying those envelopes every time you wanna test it, nah, that's crazy. Um, I'm sure they're not cheap either. But um, yeah, the fact that you can, um, drop this in your bucket or your tank and get a quick reading and temperature reading at the same time, pretty cool. Um, I'll give you guys an update in a couple more months and see how this thing is going. But yeah, oh, one cool thing too is if you drop it in your pail or you drop it in your tank, it floats. That's pretty cool. Just in case, you know, butterfingers. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I so far I give this the snowman approval. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't seen too many out there yet, so yeah, take care, guys. Happy weekend.